Hello, welcome to today's video. We are on page number 76 of the Keyboard Musicianship Book 1. Today we are talking about the scale a little bit more, and we're also talking about key signatures. So before we start talking about key signatures, let's go ahead and talk about the C major scale. You should have already been introduced to the C major scale at least, and we're just going to expand upon the theory of that scale. So this is a C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay. So we see here these numbers above the notes are called scale degrees. And you may already be familiar with the scale degrees exercise. And so these skill degrees determine what these uh, notes or what these notes have as chords and other things as well in theory. So in the C major scale, we always have this formula which will create our scale. Between the first two, we have a whole step. Between the next two, we also have a whole step. Between scale degree three and four, we have a half step, which is those keys right there. Next we have a whole step again, another whole step, another whole step, and then between scale degrees 7 and 8, or we can also call it 1, we also have another half step. So we have whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. If we try to build a major scale on other tones, the same whole step and half step arrangement, as in our C major scale, must be maintained. It says here to try playing the D major scale by ear. If you already know how to play the ma D major scale, good for you. Try to play another scale, such as the F sharp major scale. So let's go back to our example of the D major scale. If we try to play it without knowing how to play it, we may try it like that. But we can hear that this doesn't exactly sound like a happy major scale. So we have to refer back to our formula. Whole step whole step, which brings us up to this F sharp, because of how many keys there are for a whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step again, and then half step. So when we apply that formula, we discover that we have an F sharp and a C sharp, which become necessary to main the half steps between scale degrees 3 and 4, and 7 and 8. It says here the discovery of the step arrangement of the major scale brings us to the reason for key signatures. It says here, in written or printed music, the sharps or flats required to build the various scales are assembled at the beginning of the staff. And it would be really cumbersome and a lot of work, and kind of messy looking, if we always had to write a sharp or a flat next to every single note in the measure or in the music. So we find a way to consolidate it all at the very beginning, which will apply for all the music. It says here that this key signature tells which notes are to be sharped or flatted throughout. It says here from the key signature, it is possible to determine the keynote or first note in the scale. Okay? So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about our key signatures before we determine those shortcuts. So, when we write sharps on the staff, we're going to go ahead and start with the treble clef. The sharps always go in the following order. First, we write an F sharp. Next, we draw C sharp, which is going to be to the, a little bit to the right, not directly under, but a little bit to the right. Think of it as melodic sharps. And C sharp down here. Next, we have G sharp. Make sure not to put them on top of each other, but a little bit to the right. Let's go ahead and put the order up here as well. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. After G sharp, we're going to go ahead and put D sharp. After D-sharp, something interesting happens. 
we're actually going to go down to A sharp. A sharp. That's supposed to be sharp. Okay. After the A sharp, we have our E sharp. And then lastly, we're going to have B sharp. And there you have it. We have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. Please practice. And the example in the book shows the completed as this one here. And then flat right down there. Practice on your stab paper writing out the order of the sharps and memorize this order and the note names that they apply to. Very good. Now that brings us to determining what the keynote or the first note in the scale will be for sharps. In sharp keys, it says here what you do is discover the very last sharp. That's furthest to the right, in this case it's B-sharp, and we're going to count up, so B-sharp is right here, and we're going to count up one half step, or we're going to go to the very next line or space, and we're going to discover that that is the key, or the key signature, or the first note. So if we go to B-sharp, go up one half step, or go up one half step from here, and we determine that the key signature is called C sharp. We're going to go ahead and talk about the individual sharps, and we're going to go backwards actually. So, first we have the key with all let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, all seven sharps. The name of this key is called C sharp major. We will be creating some flashcards for you to um, remember that this is called C sharp major just by looking at it, or you can also use the shortcut. The shortcut. Let's go ahead now and erase one sharp. We now have the last sharp or the furthest right sharp is this E sharp, which is that note right there. We go up one half step from the E sharp. And we discover it is F sharp major. Okay. Let's go ahead and erase another sharp. We now have our last sharp as A sharp, which is this note right here. We go up one half step or to the very next line or space, and we discover it is B major. Not B sharp major, but B major. Now we have four sharps only. The furthest sharp to the right is D sharp. Go up to the next space from the line, or go up a half step, and we discover it is E major. Let's go ahead and erase another sharp. We have here G sharp. Now this one here, we can go ahead and take a look at the bass clef because going up one here would require a ledger line. So from the G sharp, we go to the very next line, go up in a half step, and we notice that it's the key of A major. We now have two sharps. The furthest to the right is C sharp. We already know that when we go up to the next line, we have D major. Let's go ahead and erase that one. Oops, I accidentally erased this one. Now we just have the one sharp. So this is F sharp. We go up to the space above this line, and we discover it is G major. And there you have it. Those are how we determine what the sharps are. Now let's talk about the flats. So the flat order is, we start with, B flat. Next, we go to E flat.
Next, we're going to go to A flat. After A flat, D flat. After D flat, it's going to be G flat. After G flat, it's going to be C flat. See how that pattern is coming out now? And after C flat, we're going to go ahead and do F flat. Oops, too, too low. Okay, so we hear here all, we see here all of our seven flaps. Now the way to determine what the key signature is for our flaps is we look to the flap to the farthest to the right, which is the last one, and we see that is an F flat, and we go to the, the previous flap, which is going to be right next door, it's going to be this one, C flat, and that is our key, C flat. Go ahead and erase that F flat right there. Our furthest flat to the right is now C flat. We go to the previous one, and we see that is called G flat major. Let's go ahead and erase that one. We now have G flat as our flat furthest to the right. We go to the one previous, and we see that is called D flat major. Let's go ahead and erase that one. We now have D flat as our furthest to the right. Go to the previous one, and we see it is called A flat major. Let's erase that one. Oops. We have A flat as our last one. We're going to go to the previous one, and we now know it is E flat. Go ahead and erase that one. We have E flat as our furthest to the right. We go back one, and we see it is called B flat major. Now, for this one here, since it is one flat by itself, there is no other flat that we can go back to to discover what the name of that key is. So, for this one flat being B flat by itself, this is one you just have to memorize as being called F major. F major only has one flat or one black key in it. It is B flat. And so there you have it. That's an explanation of the flats and sharps, or key signatures. Once again, you will be receiving some flashcards which have every single key signature on it. And you will practice these flashcards so you can memorize. And also practice writing out the flats and sharps on your staff paper. And we will see you at next lesson.